Hey, skinny legs and bike pegs. Lego. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Hi, my name is John and I like to party. Hi, my name is also John and I also like to party. Who's ready for a party? I hope you are because in today's chapter, that is exactly what the people of Jerusalem do. In chapter 12 of Nehemiah, we read about the dedication of the wall and all the celebrations and ceremonies that go along with it. People are coming from all over. There are ceremonial cleansings going on and there's a choir, two choirs. <laughs> It's clear that Nehemiah and the people of Jerusalem are making a pretty big deal out of this dedication. And this is important to notice, because before we as believers do anything in life, we must first dedicate it to God. When we are entering into a new relationship, it is important that each individual give that relationship up to the Lord. Maybe you've just started a new job or a new school year. Have you taken time to give this next season to God, to place it in his hands, to say, here, this is for you? I'm not saying that we need all the pomp and circumstance of ceremonial cleansings and choirs, although I do love a good choir, but I do believe that it is important to do something to commemorate these special moments. And it doesn't even have to be something that you do. For me, it's often a place that I go. Many of you know my story that I came to know Jesus on a bench outside of the chapel on a small Christian college campus in Northwestern Illinois. For me, that bench is the place where I first dedicated my life to God. And so now, in my life, whenever I see myself entering a new season or station, I return to that place. I pray on that bench as a way of sort of rededicating that part of my life to the Lord. The people of Jerusalem here have a long road ahead of them. Because being the people of God, that is a high calling. And we today share in that if we call ourselves followers of Jesus. To try and fulfill that calling all on our own or by our own power is absolute foolishness. In everything we do in life, the best way to start doing it is by dedicating it first and foremost to him. Hey friends, thank you for watching this episode of ADITW. I can't believe we're almost done with Nehemiah already. The fact that we are almost done though means a Q&A episode is coming up. So please, if you wouldn't mind in the comments down below, leave your questions. What questions do you have about the Bible or Bible study? Because in two weeks time, I will be doing a brand new Q&A episode here on ADITW. Last thing I want you to know before I go, all throughout the month of August, I have been uploading a sermon series to YouTube and to my podcast, The John Cast, called Seen Unseen. This is a series of talks, sermons that I gave at a camp right around here, actually the camp that I referenced in this episode. And so I hope you will go and watch those because I, I know they have been encouraging so, so many people. And if you haven't taken the time, I promise you they are worth it. Each and every one of them is about a half hour long and it is worth it because I believe God has something that he wants to say to you through them. So I hope you'll go and check those out right now. That is all I have for you today. I love you all. Keep being awesome. Awesome.